everybody. Today I want to come to you again with another video in regarding the holding police officers liable when they violate their fiduciary duty. Now the court case I want to come to you today with is Monroe B. Pape, 365 U.S. 167, 1961. That an officer or employee of the state or one of its subdivisions is deemed to be acting under color of law as to those deprivation of rights committed in the fulfillment of the task and obligations assigned to him. What that actually means, if they are using policy when they are attempting to arrest you, detain you, or they're saying, well, I have reasonable suspicion, and then at the same time admit there is no suspicion of a crime, or you are not actually committing a crime, but yet they still detain you, that or that detainment without probable cause for a hunch lasts longer than 20 minutes. All those are elements which violate their fiduciary duty, which drop their immunity or waive their immunity, and they can be held liable. And a second part of this case is a plaintiff need not pursue his state remedies before instituting a 1983 action. Defendants can be held in action under 42 U.S.C. 1983, even though they did not act willfully, even though they did not have a specific intent to deprive the plaintiff of a federal right. Such defendants can be held to civil responsibility. This is one of the things that I was saying before, because when you have an instance where a young man or a young lady is being detained for reasonable suspicion, and there is no crime, and there is no probable cause, and they're demanding ID, you call a supervisor to the scene, and the supervisor, without probable cause, without a crime, without a report of criminal activity, continue to detain you, and continues to demand ID, although it is not their intent to deprive you of a physical or a federal right. They are still liable. What is this about? Just an independent new journalist. I'm just um, seeing where uh, our tax dollars go. Okay. Yeah. All right, do you have an ID with you? Um, am I required to carry ID? No, sir, I'm just trying to figure out who you are. Oh, because... Independent new journalist, just gathering content for a story. Okay. So you do realize in the state of Georgia, yeah. when you're contacted by a police officer, yes. you're required, it's not an option, you're required, produce ID. They have no immunity once they deprive you of a right. These are not my words. These are not opinions. These are actual Supreme Court cases that follow federal guidelines. And I've also shown you in a couple other cases where federal statutes and Supreme Court cases override any statute, code, or ordinance set forth by a state or county. That will be the subdivisions of the state. So again, understanding where their liability and immunity is waived and yours never ends. Until next time.